All right, we're back. I cut a bit out. Um, we're actually down here now. We have the bestial axe. Or wait, let's... <laughs> yeah. I think if we read the description of the pistol... Yeah, there's no bullets, though. So that ought to help us get through this. Um, again, I'm intentionally not using that paper cup because I don't want to. We actually have two paper cups and we found two water coolers. But again, I really want to make sure that everyone in the party can have stuff because it's just one of those things where like, that's a really lame mechanic. I'll go ahead and let Moln get a uh, heal as well. Um. Oh yeah, our cat had kittens while we're away. Check that out, isn't that crazy? Um, so there's a lot of weird stuff that you can do in order to, like, 100% this game. But all of it, like, barely does anything anyway. Like, you can buy squirrel food and llama food, and I think cat food, and feed the, the three animals in this little enclosure things. But there isn't much, like, reason to. Why don't we save here, huh? Um, yeah, there's not, like, much reason to do that. Uh, you get, like, an item, I guess. This is an enemy called a Foothead. You may be able to tell why. You inadvertently destroyed it. A muscle applique. And 300 bucks. They lined up pretty well. So, um, this is another spoiler, I guess, but Pongorma later allows us to... Bad Juju. Oh! Shway. What are our things, then? Muscle Applique goes here. I'll go ahead and use it on him. Um... What the hell was I talking about? Sometimes it's difficult for me to remain focused, but this game doesn't make it any easier. Because, <laughs> I mean, God, look at it. Um, back when I did the original Hylix, like... Man, I was like, I felt like so lost. But it's, it is a very simple game. Like, you go here to open the harbor gate, and then you can open the harbor gate. And then, when you're done with that, you go and you um, grab some Snosa and... Oh, I should have saved. Damn. Wait, can we just... We totally can. Hell yeah. Alright. Let's see if we can get lucky with... I have no sigils. And then you... Because I don't want him to hit someone and then wake them up. Oh, they're both asleep. Look at that. Let's kill the guard first, I guess. Because the guards have not had, like, awesome health. Oh, cool. That ain't good. Let's hope that that works, huh? And then let's... Crap, I totally healed the wrong guy. <laughs> Uh, this would be easier if I wasn't always uh, screwing up. All right, Wayne is topped off. You have some mightiness to be getting on with. Oh, and it's poison now. Good. Let's do some of that, huh?
hope that nobody gets hurt in the meantime. Why can't I select someone else with it? I guess it's because I'm guarding. Huh. Okay, well. Actually, you can survive a hit, so why don't we feed a juice box to you? And then I guess you'll guard like regular? Please hit somebody who can take that. Okay, cool. All right. See, it's a very simple game, but like the art just lets this, it lets this game sing, man. It's so simple and yet I can't help but like adore it. Oh God, that was stupid of me. All right, well. <laughs> Harbor gate opened. So we will come back here. Um, thank you for bearing with me. I want them to kill me, FYI. It'll be much quicker this way. So we now have the opportunity to grab two party members. Um, we've only had one up till now. Uh, and I wanted to grab all of my party members before even trying to really fight. Um, but we have the beast axe now. The thing, one of the things is, is that Pongorma makes it so you don't take damage from ambulance skulls, and considering that they instantly kill you whenever they touch you, that's a pretty great thing to have. <laughs> um, all right, Harbor Gate is open. Okay. This is right. Okay, I remember what to do. So yeah, getting Pongorma first will make the challenge to get some Snosa, like, laughable. And honestly, that's kind of what we want. Wait, what the hell is this? What is this place? Right, I think I remember. Um, one thing that I do want to mention is that I remember this location. Never's off limits, don't push the button either. Don't touch the leather. Um, one thing that I notice is that like the world appears to be flooded. So it's possible that this accretion thing that they talked about may have not just been like the world getting all clayed over. It may also have like, it may have been a thing where like they, oh God, how do I put this? The world flooded. I kind of remember this. Hold on. All right. I think I just did this wrong. Yeah, I did. Duh. I was reminded uh, that, like, yeah, you totally can just see it. It's these things. These are the things. I just totally forgot that this is where they were. I was remembering a different puzzle, um, and that was why I was like, why didn't I find a solution? My fault entirely. Luckily, I didn't eat up too much of anyone's time. Hopefully, at least. Mm. 
This is that amazing attack the guards kept using on us, so let's grab it for our sake. I'm Pungorma, greatest of the Dread Knights of Yithorn. Through long ages, I've waited in this vault. His text is not randomized, and Yithorn is always the same thing. I don't know what Yithorn is, but he's a Dark Knight and a Dread Knight, and apparently also the greatest of the Dread Knights. Through long ages, I've waited in this vault. So it's possible that, like, Gibby's coming was foretold, or the accretion was foretold, and they sealed away the greatest of the Dread Knights in order to just keep him in here. Fight me. Okay. Prepare yourself. I love this song, by the way. You won't get to hear it as much, but... Actually, let's... But yeah, he's the Dark Knight and the Dread Knight and um, the greatest of the Dread Knights. And he has a spell called Ancient Odor, which poisons you. That's not good. Hey, we're back outside because... Hey, squirrel food, I got your squirrel food. 2,000 bucks for squirrel food. Yeah, sure. We also have the third water cooler here. I think it's the third. I don't want to forget that it's there. Um, yeah, the fact that like there appears to be only one boat in this world and it is sealed away here. It looks like there's some sort of intentional attempt to obscure things and make it more difficult. Here's the squirrel food. And we got the head squirrel. Oh, that reminds me, yeah. Remnants of a sentient being you destroyed might come in handy later. Head squirrel, here we go. Prevents negative status. Yeah, that thing kicks ass. Increases flesh and mightiness. Okay. Better. Much better. But yeah, the the part of this game is that like it's just kind of weird and annoying that you get a hold of party members and they're missing things that you already picked up and like you cannot grind in this game. I don't know if I've mentioned that, but if you haven't noticed, when enemies die, they do not come back when you leave the screen. I don't even think that they come back at the, trans the transition of Axe at all. You may remember that we flipped a switch back in Episode 1 to start Act 1 as Dracula. Alright, let's do a real save here. Alright. Oh, cool. So that means... Let's see if we can't just, like, tear through this guy. Yeah, I like the sound of that. I know that we just got Dark Flame and, like, it's an awesome ability. But it is also really expensive. Let's give that a shot, huh? Oh god. Yes. Perfect. Amazing. Fantastic. Let's work through you. Nice. Okay, I hope that hits Wayne. Oh, well, it hits both of us. Number one. Wayne, 
Wayne might be able to do this on his own. I'm hoping that that won't need to be the case, but... Yeah, it's just a, you know, classical JRPG game. You know, it's literally made in RPG Maker. It's about as generic as they come. It's not... The, the gameplay is nothing special in this game. This is a known fact. Like a well-known fact, you know? There is, you know, nothing new going on here that we haven't seen. The fact that it says, like... Oh, you're gorbled instead of, like, you're bleeding or whatever. What, what do they say? Like, you're leaking instead of you're bleeding. Let's try things, huh? Um, yeah, they, they give you, like, weird rando things instead of normal um, terminology, and, like, that's part of it, but... You know, this is a fairly boring JRPG. But, like, it's just such a cool-looking game that, like, how could you not like it? There's nothing else that looks like this. Not really, you know? Oh, Jesus. trying to top off because I only have me fighting here. Oh, cool. Jesus. But yeah, there's this, there's this weird thing where like you can always get back. What, what can you always get back? You can always get back your magic. And so, like, as long as you can reset before a fight, you can always, you know, be fresh and start new, and that's cool. I'm defeated. Very well, I'll follow you and aid in your violent endeavors. By the way, I have dominion over the ambulance goals. You needn't fear their deadly touch any longer. What that, whatever that means. Um. All right, cool. We have Pongo, then. 